and gentlemen, stay tuned for a build. Coming at you, the WL Toys A95B. WL Toys A959B. It's been out for many months, a couple of years. And there are many videos and many hop-up parts. And this is what the car looks like. It's the size of your large hands. 118th scale. Claims to go up to 70 kilometers an hour, that's 43 plus miles per hour. I can only get this to go 30. It does have that 540 uh, 116th scale motor. And it has its little issues with the wing, the wheels pointing, and you could crash into uh, something, your chassis will break. So, in time, things do need to be upgraded. And here is the Jing XI chassis. There are two types of chassis out there. One that looks like the actual A959B. And one that somebody has their own brand. And they come in a number of colors. I should have gotten gold with blue and mix things up and then solid blue for me. My local Ace Hardware store has this 245 blue thread lock. I recommend that you put it on anything that revolves or metal on metal. But please understand, plastic, do not use. Keep it away from plastic. In this video tutorial, whatever you want to call this, I am not going to be using Loctite now. I will use it on my thread. So please, every screw, bolt, find a way to put it on there and get it on there. You may not want to put it on your tools and ruin it. Use a toothpick. Put it on a little towel. Use a toothpick to get it on. These are micro screwdrivers. M2. Two and a half is going to be very hard to do. Blue is temporary. Red is not. There is green. So on with the show. Let's lay all this out for you. Be right back. You kind of see everything is laid out on the table. Uncertain about these four screws. And these two spaces. They seem to fit here, but they don't fit the screws that are supplied. These M2s, for argument's sake, they slide in. These are the screws that fit in there. Where do we start? Take a look at your car. Look at your motor mount. This is your motor mount. This is the top. This is the back. J to you, I away from you. With the words reading the correct way. Whichever is the correct way. This is a number zero. This is a number two times one inch. I'm uncertain the size of this one. But it does say China. I'm going to start over here. I magnetize my screwdriver. These are sunken heads, M2 by unknown size for me. I'm not going to apply a lot of force and I'm going to simply start to do my build. My battery is done. The post and the way it straps in. Let's just take a look at that. How tightly the battery may sit in. A lot of pressure if asked. If this battery swells, I'm in trouble. I want to see if a different battery will fit in. I put my tie wrap, which is a Velcro strap. This is a 
battery with the XT plug just for size comparison. It snaps into place, the tie wrap goes about, and it's a perfect fit indeed. 2.2 Turnigy, 7.4 cell, not a Deans, an XT60. Let's continue on fitting other pieces together. This is the front side facing towards the inner, the little notches. The holes face to the outer side. We finished up with the 2.5 or 2.6 bolts. These are the M 2.0s. They go to the back, they're sunken in. Again, remember Loctite. For me right now, no Loctite. There is a lip. Match the lip like for like. Uncertain of the screws. Knowing that these spaces do not go here. They may go here. Align. Put the second to last step on. Your last two bolts count the sunk in. If this faces the wrong way, correct it. Take all your extras, place them back in the bag, write down where they came from. What car? Metal chassis 959B. The chassis is fully completed. There's one or two things I'd like to show you before I close out this video. This is a 959B product. It's a motor mount. Notice that over here, there's no way you can adjust your spur gear for your mesh. The adjustments on the chassis, that's a good thing and a bad thing. Let's connect it. Line up the holes. Take your number two Phillips. This adjusts. That looks good, you say? I want to bring two other parts, maybe one more part into the equation. This is where the gear is going to sit. This is the shaft. Just want to show you, watch the video out there, complaining that the shaft was too long for this particular area. You see at both ends there are notches and they are pretty much lined up. There should not be any play. These two bolts will be in my way to demonstrate. That's why these two little spaces do not go here. But take note where your motor mount is at now, right against the cross plate. There's another motor mount that has these particular holes down here that 
will slide back and forth that allow you to adjust your motor and not the mount. There's no play to adjust your mount. We are a step ahead and waiting for other parts to continue our build. This is a Jing XI full chassis build. They come in a number of colors. You decide which color is best for you. I may like gold with blue. And that's where I have my options to make a second kit. I may want to get the same exact type chassis versus having this particular chassis. This sells for 15 plus, give or take. Another chassis sells for 20 plus, give or take. It is up to you to decide. Any questions, comments? Please rate, comment. Show some love. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching the chassis build. And we'll hope to continue on and create a much better car for me. On that note, have a great day. Come back for more videos to come. Enjoy, everybody. <laughs>